In this video, I'm introducing a couple of new features that came out with Strapi Beta version 19, specifically the single type and the unique ID field. So if you navigate to your content types builder, you'll see that your collection types, or rather your content types, are now called collection types. And that's because they allow more than one entry there. So you can add and you can have more than one, right? On the other hand, your, your new type is called single type. And this will be a type that has only one instance of it. So there's only one. There's not going to be an array or a list of them. So when we create a new single type, for example, a blog, it will have a unique ID of blog because it's going to be just a page. And maybe we can have a header and maybe we can even have a uh, content, let's say. Content of type rich text. And then we can use this, un, un, uh, this new uh, field called the unique identifier field. This new field is very useful because it allows you, it guarantees that it's going to be unique and it uh, automatically turns uh, your uh, values into, uh, into escaped entities that, that are HTML escaped. So they can be used for URLs, for example. So the classic example would be that you could create a unique ID called slug and you will attach it to your header and you will save. If you do that, you will automatically have your slug be compiled and built based on what the header value is. So if I go on single type and I have my blog, the blog, what you'll see is that when I save or, or when I regenerate it, the slug will automatically be built off of my blog. So now I can go on roles and permission, I can click on public, and I can set my blog to public, and I'll be able to retrieve it for Postman. I can make a request at HTTP, column slash slash localhost, column 1337 slash blog, which is singular, so in this case, you can have singular names, and you will retrieve the single instance, so a single object from that uh, single type. So this is the new introduction. In my opinion, it's really good if you want to build your single pages. So you can build a single page uh, or a, a single type per page, and that way you can allow uh, then the usage of component and dynamic zones. So a quick example I can give you on that would be we can we can create, for example, a page called Portfolio, which is, uh, this is foreshadowing of something we're going to do in the, in the Strapi course, but uh, Portfolio. And then we can have a new uh, dynamic zone such as uh, uh, items, or I guess portfolio items. No space, okay, so let's do portfolio item. And then we're gonna create a new component called item, or I guess uh, a, a portfolio simple, it simple entry. And the simple entry would be a portfolio entry, so we're gonna have a category of portfolio. And the field that it's going to have is going to be a title. Then we're going to, or you can press enter as a shortcut. Then we're going to have a link. And then we're going to have a rich text, a content. So now we can have a page of uh, portfolio items that is built with dynamic zone and it's a single one. So that means that instead of having some sort of pages collection and then having a name for the page, you can just separate them, making the life of uh, content managers easier. And at the same time, you will be able to retrieve your data in a very simple way. You can just type portfolio and uh, uh, we just need to make it public first. So I'll just click on find, save, and then make a get request to slash portfolio. Uh, we're gonna need to add something the first entry to entry and it's gonna have a content this is the content of the first entry which can be customized since it's a dynamic zone you can add more you can also add more components which is something we already did in the course and now by saving you're gonna be able to make a request and you're gonna be able to retrieve your data as a single type so these are new couple new things from Strapi Subscribe if you haven't and put a like if you like the video. Let me know what any topics you want me to cover related to Strapi and React and have an amazing day.